what's going on y'all we're out here early this morning about to go drag some baits and try to catch some flatheads uh today struggled to find bait but finally got a couple good gizzard shad and a couple live bluegill we're gonna try to use got the gizzard shad cut up we're gonna put him on the line and uh we're gonna troll off through this channel and out to the main lake and see if we can't pick up a flathead the water temperature around here is dropping it's starting to be that fall time of year so i'm hoping that the flathead bite's about to turn on so y'all stay tuned <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm using a Gamagatsu uh, ADOT circle hook. I'll take this shad head. It's my favorite piece of bait right here. Cook it right through the nose. Put that out in the water. We've got a float and a dragon weight on a three-way swivel. And we're just gonna go drag through this, drag through this little channel. I've got a new planer board that I've never, never fished with planer boards. And I'm gonna give it a try today. Hopefully works i'll let you guys know all right y'all black rod getting the same thing same setup we're gonna go live bluegill that is my favorite size bluegill to use and got about three of them like this so we're gonna try to make them count all right y'all so we got a chunk of gizzard shad here's a tip you can see how it's just barely hooked through the back there. I got it in the spine. It's good. It's not going to come out. There's a lot of blood and guts and stuff in there. It's a great piece of bait. But you can see how I just, I got a ton of hooks point exposed. I see a, lot, a big mistake a lot of people make is they fill this gap way too much. They put way too much, they put too much bait on their hook, if you will, rather than letting the bait be below and letting that hook have plenty, plenty of hook to grab onto that fish. I think you'll increase your uh, hookup ratio. Try that simple. All right, I got this planer board. I'm fixing to send it back. This is the right planer board. I didn't even bring. I didn't even bring the left on purpose. I wanted to. Uh, still, I've never used them before. Like I said, um, I'm, so obviously I'm trying to learn. Uh, I didn't even bring the the right one or the left one. So we're gonna try this out on the left on the right one only and if I can get it figured out without getting everything completely tangled up we will uh, try a different one at a later time right we got something on the planer board there we go might be a good one small flathead. Nope. Nice job. Okay.
ADOT Gamagatsu. Settle down, boy. Nice chill cat. Alright guys, so I was back off in the neck. I've been trolling for a while with no action whatsoever. Finally come up with a fish. I didn't think we were going to. We trolled, I trolled back in the, uh, back in one of the little feeder creek channels into the main lake and then now I'm on the main lake way out in the middle of the lake, still on the channel. Finally picked up that nice channel cat. Hoping for a flathead, but we'll take him. We're happy to have him. And that was on the planer board. First ever planer board fish. We'll take him. Yeah, number two, baby. Yet. I really don't even know how he got that big old hook in his mouth. Look at that. Oh my god. How did you get that in your mouth, boy? Look at that. My hook. have a big bait after you've got him right in the corner of the mouth. two fish. Slow because it's been rainy and 
thought they might like it a little bit slower presentation. Haven't had much luck with that uh, two tail catch before that. Um, pretty nice one, but. But um, nothing real consistent. We haven't been on a pattern at all. Started moving faster. And we picked up two fish, bam, bam. So we're going to see. I'm going to cruise a little faster through the channel again. See if that isn't the key. Maybe there was just two fish hanging out right there in that particular spot, wanting something to eat. It's not a pattern at all, but we're gonna try. We got another fish on. No big ones today. We'll take them, good eaters. catch some more or go to the house. I lied, I thought I didn't have any more bait. Found this guy swimming around in my little bucket. Tiniest little bluegill you've ever seen. Sorry bud. Got now. We got bait. Sweet. Let's see if we can't catch a couple more channel cat. Got a fish on, looks like. He'll eat. Well, that's going to wrap up today's trip, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I had a blast. Caught a bunch of catfish. Take them home and clean them, cook them up, and eat them. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. Hit subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all take care.